Walking into the laundry room, you can see a nice full-size stackable Samsung washer dryer, only about a year old. Utility sink, and it's deeper than it looks. It's got a, a drain board on there. I believe the storage shelves will stay as well as the shelves over here on the side for shoes or whatever. Walking into the entrance up front, we have a half bath. There's no lights on in there. That's nice natural light from the window. And over on this side, we have the master bedroom. His and her closets off to the side. Again, everything's kind of full right now, so I'll um, give you an idea of the size there. Lots of bright windows. Now this is set up as a bedroom. Uh, it does have another door leading to the outside to that deck if you wanted to go out for your morning coffee or something. Uh, or even an evening cigar. Although, no smoking allowed. Okay, on into the bathroom. Nice large linen closet here to the side. Plenty of storage space. Over to my right, we have a uh, nice deep jetted tub. Big bright window. Good size vanity, plenty of storage there. And then over on this side, we have a toilet, a separate sink, and again, additional storage up above the toilet for toiletries, towels, whatever. There is a ventilation fan in here and more lighting. Got it turned off because it can be a little noisy on the camera. Okay, looking into the kitchen, we've got a built in desk. Plenty of storage up and down. And you'll see later at the bottom of the stairs there's also a large pantry for additional storage, but this kitchen has no shortage. So we've got a built-in bench here, or table with two benches. Nice little breakfast nook. Over on this side with the sink, you can see a brand new dishwasher, less than a year old. Nice side-by-side -side fridge with water and ice. And across from that, a new oven, new stove top, microwave mounted up top. Again, plenty of storage space. Leading into the living room. Now this dining table may look a little bit small, but you can see there's plenty of space for a larger dining table. Leaning up against the wall here, this will be removed, but that's the original table. It's been here for about 14 years. Uh, and they're going to be selling that off, but that'll just give you an idea of the size of the space. Plenty of room for a large table. Over here to my left, facing the stove, you can see that there's plenty of room for stools for a breakfast bar there. A gorgeous archway into the living room. Big bright windows, nice stained glass light fixtures. Just incredible views if you look out those windows take a look at the lawn and again this being winter time everything is brown but you can imagine once that greens up it's going to be a fantastic view and we'll head back to that view here in a little bit and here we have a nice entryway We've got a coat closet right there in front of me this entryway leads out to the third deck Again, looking out towards the lawn, a beautiful dog on the lawn that does not come with the property. We've got some nice garden boxes. This would be great for some morning glories or some kind of growing vine uh, to climb up that. And grill out here to the side. So a great way to uh, enter with guests, I think. Maybe some patio furniture out there. And again, going back out through the living room take a look out to the west so this is looking out towards Carter Mountain and Cody beautiful deck this is just a little bit of the furniture they've got here uh, most of it's been put away for the winter but they do have some additional outdoor furniture available to use okay so here we are in the downstairs basement uh, this room is currently set up as a uh, fitness room 
but all this fitness equipment will be auctioned or removed. Uh, we have a carpeted floor. You can see it's currently covered with these rubber mats, but the owners uh, can remove those and place them in storage, or they could be left here if you wanted to use the space for something similar. Uh, again, because it was a fitness room, there's some mirrors permanently mounted on the walls there. Uh, off here to the side, we go into the utility room. We've got the furnace for forced air heat, water heater. This ice chest will stay. Oh, uh, this freezer. So that'll be there for tenant use. We've got back here in the corner a small workbench. And then this is very interesting on the right side, this shelving unit with these lights. Uh, these actually hang up like you can see down here. And he would use this for growing his, uh, his starters for his garden. This is a great place if you want a garden. This would be a great place to kind of get your seedlings started. And then a few tools and different things that will be left behind. Of course the fuse panel. <clears throat> Over here to the side we have another bathroom. This bathroom, as you can see, includes a good sized vanity. We've got a nice uh, granite countertop. We've got a seamless sink. Plenty of storage in the cabinet as well as the, the medicine cabinet there. Back behind the door, we've got a large linen closet. So plenty of storage. Those are big, deep shelves. Then we have a shower tub combo. It's a little bit dark. There is another light right here above me, but it's also a heater, so when you turn it on, it can get a little noisy. So it's either a heater or a ventilation fan. Uh, so when the light is on, it's a heater, and then when you turn the light off, it turns into fan mode. And then we have a separate uh, toilet closet here, again with some storage for toilet paper and things. Okay, then go back out into the hallway and around the corner. We have a large storage room. This is pretty full right now, but all this stuff will be removed. So just imagine these storage shelves as being vacant. You can see there's a lot of storage space here. The shelves will stay. There's some additional floor space back there in the corner. And some of these things, this uh, if you can look down low, this dresser drawer, uh, some of these dressers may be staying as well. So, But for sure the uh, hanging hooks, the shelves, those will all remain. And going on the opposite side we have two bedrooms. Uh, first I'll show you there's some pretty good storage space. It rubs on the carpet a little bit. Pretty good storage space under the stairs here. As if it didn't have enough already. And again this will be emptied out once the owners leave. And then a little entryway and then we have two bedrooms. So this first one that looks like about a queen size bed. Full egress window. You've got a nice size closet. This is really deep. You can see that it's a little extra deep. Has some built-in shelves there in the middle. Hangers on each side. And again that will be emptied out. A nice big dresser drawer. Off to this side again. A bedroom, a little bit smaller closet. <clears throat> Still pretty deep. But a pretty large bedroom. So that's it for the downstairs.